after the loss to Georgetown, how important was it for your team to get back on the, uh, the winning side of things? Uh, very important. Um, we take very much pride in uh, winning at home and uh, protecting our home court. And uh, that game versus Georgetown, we didn't we didn't do that. So today was a very important day for us, and um, I'm glad we can accomplish. We did accomplish what we wanted to do. What can you say about your day today? Career high points, 15 rebounds. I mean, you kind of dominated every category. Um, I just played hard. You know, you know sometimes when you play hard. Sometimes your baskets don't drop. Sometimes the rebounds don't come your way, but that doesn't defer of how I play. You know, today I just played hard and things went well for me. My teams did a, my teammates did a good job finding me, and um, there's nothing pretty much different. You know, today was just a good day for me. James, you said you just played hard, but you can tell this means a ton to you. Um, why, why is it so different for you this year? Why are you dominating so much the way you are in this league? Um, well, you know, I'm a senior. Uh, my days here is, um, are ticking down. Um, you know, so I just want to make sure I go out on the right note, uh, be a, a good leader to my teammates, and um, you know, I just want to, I just want to go out the right way, basically overall. That's all I want to do, and um, I take every game seriously. And um, you know, today was an important day, and I just want to lead by example as a senior leader. After being out rebounded against Georgetown, um, how much was that a focus today? And early on, Seton Hall was able to get some opportunities there, but you got rebounded 20 to 16 in the second half. How much of a focus was that for you? Today? Um, uh, it was a big focus. You know, they have good rebounders over there um, with um, Rodriguez, uh, Delgado, uh, Sonogo, you know, um, Nezzy. Um, you know, they have really good rebounders over there, so that was the main point of emphasis for us. Um, just block out, uh, try and get the first rebound, and, um, you know, and just push in transition, you know, get the ball to Edmund so he can push up the court, find Trey, Miles, and, and Jalen, you know, so that was our main point today. Trayvon, you played 10 minutes in the first half and 16 minutes. Uh, I picked up two fouls, so uh, he, they just felt like they were just going to save me for the next half, so I didn't commit any other fouls for that half. So. And you, in other games as well, have done really well after the break and really scored a lot of your points, all of them today. Can you talk about that a little bit and how important it was for you to get, you know, get that first basket? Yeah, um, you know, I got two pretty early, so uh, I was out for a while. And um, coach was basically just telling me to get myself going, take smart shots, but uh, just to get myself going. And um, I knew that they, you know, needed me to, you know, kind of step up and motivate them and kind of be energized. And that's what I did. And uh, fortunately enough, my energy turned into me making baskets. So. Trayvon, this is now two times in a row this year. You guys have come off a big loss and really responded uh, in a big way the next game. What is it about your team that you guys respond so well for those losses? I just think we, we look forward to the next game, you know. Uh, we don't soak in our losses. Uh, it's a league where we play every two days, every three days, so we got to get ready for the next opponent. And so I think, um, you know, uh, win or lose, you know, we, we get over it that, that next day and just prepare for that next opponent. When, when you play like this, Trayvon, do you see this team as a, a top five team? I know the rankings say something about you, but do you feel like a top five team in college basketball? Uh, most definitely. Um, I'm with these guys every every day. Every practice is competitive. It's probably one of the most competitive groups I've been around. Uh, you know, I just think if we keep playing the way we've been playing, uh, eventually it'll pan out for us. So. Edmund, talk about that baseline uh, drive you made for the dunk that really got everyone on their feet. What was it like from your point of view? Uh, I just know like me getting a, a dunk would just motivate our teammates. So I just wanted to. I didn't want to settle for a three when the clock down. I knew he was going to jump, so I just drove. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nothing more to it. This is, this is, oh, God. Uh, last year, you, you obviously watched with the tendonitis and you were able to, to play. What's it been like in the games you have been able to play in the Big East? What's, how, how has that competition been like for you? I mean, what did you think? Uh, it's a lot different. It's a lot more physical. My, a lot more like wear and tear on my body. But I'm, I'm adjusting to it. Everything is slowing more down each game, so I'm adjusting well. They always talk about that freshman wall. You play more games, more practice than you ever have in your career. Do you, how's your body feel at this point? Uh, you know, it'd be a little sore after practice, but Flukes, he always had me come in after practice, ice my knees, so I just take the, the necessary steps so I can stay on the court. James, um, how about the lift that Sean O'Mara gives you when he comes in? And the first four minutes doing just a lot of things, couple blocks, couple rebounds. Um, you really have three guys uh, with Jalen, you, and, and Sean, but what kind of lift did he give in those four minutes that he produced today? Uh, yeah, Sean was tremendous today. Um, 
he's been a guy who's gotten better every single game, I, I believe. Um, you know, he's one of those guys who just puts in the work. Um, you know, just he knows that uh, is he has a deep uh, team. So you know, as a sophomore, he doesn't get a lot of playing time. But when his number's called, he seems to be ready every time. So uh, to Sean's credit, you know, he he's done a great job. He had a great game today, in my opinion, for the minutes he got. He was very efficient, and um, he's getting better every game. And it's not it's not a surprise to me that he's playing like this because of the work I've seen him put in. Why is it difficult to keep them off the offensive glass? Uh, the teams, the teams top offensive Seton Hall? Yeah. Um, they shoot a lot of threes. Um, you know, long shots equal long rebounds. And, um, you know, and some, there's, those guys are just hungry, you know. Um, we, be, we believe we're the, like the same team. We're on the offensive rebounds, you know. Uh, I think we're hard to keep off the glass, too. And, um, you know what, that's just some teams you're going to play. Like, they're, they're, that's a really good team we play today, you know. They lost by one to Villanova. You know, they've, they've got some key players. Um, and that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. One more question. George, that was the first time you had been out rebounded this season. You come back today and you're able to out rebound another opponent. When you look at the stat sheet, is rebounding, where does that rank? Is it the first thing you look, you look at? Or how big is rebounding as far as your individual team goals? Um, it's huge. Uh, we practice rebounding every day. Um, you know, box out drills countlessly. Um, you know, it's a huge uh, main point of emphasis with our, our coaching staff and us as players. We know that if we rebound, we can run in transition and we can have fun in the way we play. But if we don't rebound, I mean, that, that just means that our defensive possessions even get longer. And um, so the more we rebound on the first possession, they even get offensive rebounds, the better than we, we become.